<clears throat> okay, so I promised you guys a shakedown run after I got the uh, Bazaz fuel controller installed on this bike. And uh, <laughs> I'd be lying to you if I, was, uh, if I said this is the first time I rode it with that installed. <sighs> All I gotta say is, wow. Holy wow. It actually gave the exhaust a different tone. <laughs> Still got a little gurgle. But I think that's it's 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 not a pop a pop anymore. It's more of a gurgle. This thing now has so much pickup power. It's it's like I, I gained on the top end with the intake and the exhaust. And I lost lost some low end and mid range, which which happens because you're you're leaning out the bike. And hence the pizzazz or or a uh, uh, power commander had to come into play. Had to, had to. I don't want to blow up my little baby. What's up, Phyllis? Now this thing just has punched down low. Oh, wow. And that's what these bikes are for. Uh, a little around town, inner city, fun kind of bike. I don't see it as a top speed demon. Now there are guys that do it, but uh, God, they're just throwing roughly the same amount of money as the bike costs into whole engine kits. We're talking above 200 cc's, unless you just want to punch out the engine case and do it that way. Some guys are just doing complete installs of new engines. <laughs> but I think, I think I like it this way. We may pinch it up to maybe close to 150. What is it, the 143 they have for this? But yeah, I can't... Oh, oh, can you hear? Oh, oh, oh. Can you hear it? All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, no hesitation. Let's give her some gas. Speeds are going to are going to stay the same because because of the gearing. You're going to get about the same speeds, especially on the top end, because you'll hit the rev limiter. This one tops out at what nine and a half to ten. I'm just running up here to the store, but I wanted to show you guys. She's got pep. She's got pop and a stop. She's got pop and a stop. She is the Z125, the Mini Z. Oh, listen to that grumble. Man, that exhaust is just freaking tits, man. <laughs> um, I got it down in E-Town for like 2,700. Brand new? Yeah. Oh, it'll do 60. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing some work on it, though, because a lot of that stuff is in stock. Yeah, you can probably hear it. Come on. Uh, exhaust, intake, and fuel controller. It's fuel injected. Yeah. Now I can actually get to 60 and stay there. <laughs> it's a cool thing about this bike. You will always get questions and always, the, how big is it? How much did it cost? How fast will it go? Of course, I'll be honest. She's a little modded. She's a little modded. 
put it in the third, but through the neighborhood. Don't want to piss off my neighbors. Nope. Me sitting up all majestic and shit on a tiny little back. <laughs> tiny little back. All I've got to say is, um, yeah, about the Z125. If you don't have one and you love motorcycles, get one. <laughs> Or borrow one. Write a friend's. Try them out. See, I screwed up when I, I rode Dodge Rider's uh, little Grom. I kept it all inside. Kept it all inside. After I got done riding it, I, I just couldn't, I didn't have the heart to tell him, dude, I'm going to get one. <laughs> so thanks to Dodge Rider, I've got one. Not a Grom, but a Z125. My little mini Z. I need to get you a key tag because that thing sucks. Ah!